y'all. <laughs> so I just woke up. Look, I just want to show y'all so y'all won't think I'm capping. Y'all see that? It's say y'all see that? It's like five o'clock in the morning, bro. It's like five. It's five thirty-four in the morning right now. I just woke up and I didn't hear about this story. Uh, I don't know. I just woke up and got on TikTok, and then next thing you know, I see everybody talking about this whole Tyree Nicholas case. And bro, it's not the it's not the reviews I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. I heard about the freaking Tyree Nicholas case yesterday. I was trying to react to it, but dog. <laughs> the views that i'm getting on this is ridiculous okay it's ridiculous bro and it's coming from black people it's coming from black people i'm gonna share those viewpoints after i shared this video that just came out seven hours ago state of emergency declare ahead of anticipated release of tyrese nicholas video now they said that this video is worse than the george floyd video and i mean black people are going crazy right now and it's not it's not the the viewpoints i thought they would have you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead and get into this video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notification. I'm trying to hurry up because, bro, I got somewhere to be in the next, what, hour or so. I'm going to try to hurry up and make this video, but I don't want to give y'all rushed content. I want to give y'all the best content. So without further ado, oh, my breath stink because I didn't even brush my teeth yet, bro. I literally just woke up, like literally just woke up. But all right, come on. First, Chelsea Bime 4 live in downtown Atlanta. And Chelsea, just last weekend, we had destructive demonstrations because of the controversial future Atlanta public safety training facility. Rick, we did, and this is the result. Some buildings like the 191 Peachtree Tower here where Deloitte uh, is based out of in downtown Atlanta were damaged by some of the protesters. This is an area where they threw rocks and explosives through the front windows. But this time around, law enforcement is preparing ahead of time in the event that there are more violent protests. On Thursday, Governor Brian Kemp declared a state of emergency after recent protests in Atlanta in the possibility of more to come. <laughs> Last weekend's protests erupted after Manuel Tehran was killed in a shootout with police near the future site of the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center, a venue that Attorney General Chris Carr says the city needs. We need better trained police officers. One, that leads to a safer officer, but also, and equally important, it leads to a safer community. That's what this is about. It's mind-boggling to me that this has become a political issue. Carr says six people were arrested after the January 21st protests. 18 were charged with domestic terrorism, many of them from out of state. And Carr says Georgia prosecutors aren't backing down. Do not come to Georgia and engage in acts of violence. We believe in peaceful protest. You can disagree with the government. You can stand at the courthouse steps or do it. Say things we disagree with. But do not come to our state, or if you're a resident of the state, do not engage in acts of violence. You will be held accountable. On Friday, Memphis police are expected to release the body camera footage that shows what led up to Ty. Oh, shoot. That junk getting released today? Oh, man. I should, bro, I should have waited. I should have waited a sec. Bro, I didn't think the video was going to be released today. Oh, man. It's finna get wild. It's finna get wild, y'all. It's finna get wild. Tyree Nichols' death. Five officers were charged in connection to his murder on Thursday. In the event that more violent demonstrations break out in the coming days, Georgia State Patrol says they're working closely with the Atlanta Police Department and other law enforcement partners in Metro Atlanta. They're monitoring the situation and reviewing all possible intelligence and will act appropriately. And the state of emergency went into effect today and remains in effect until February the 9th. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Chelsea Bime 4, Atlanta News Bro. First. Thanks, Chelsea. The okay, first of all, I got a couple things to say. Okay, um, number one, I want to say this. My condolences go out to Tyree Nicholas and his family. You know, my condolences go out to them. Okay, it's a very, it's a tragic, it's a tragic situation. But these are things that I was hearing from black people. Okay, I was hearing, number one, oh, they was charged quickly. Y'all definitely got rid of them so fast. Bro, isn't, bro, isn't that what y'all would want though? They, but they're talking about they got rid of the police officers so fast because the police officers are black. Okay, and they, they comparing it to all the other white police officers that done something to black people that was either suspended on pay before the video got released and all different type of stuff. But bro, they said that this video was worse than any video imaginable. They, they, any any little police brutality y'all ever seen, they said this video was the worst. They, they don't even want to release it for real. 
That's how bad, that, bro. His family said the man was uh, unrecognizable. I, he wasn't even recognizable, bro. That's how bad the police beat this man. That's how bad the police beat this man, bro. And y'all so worried about race? I mean, where's bro? Dad, I, I I know they finna do the whole Black Lives Matter bull crap and all that, and oh, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives. Matter. But how can you even say Black Lives Matter when five black men just killed another black man? How can y'all? First of all, I don't understand why people do these little protests because I don't think it gets your word out. I don't know why you do all these little oh Black Lives Matter. We're gonna destroy this. What what are you benefiting from? What what are you been from? Are you going to destroy another business and you doing all this over Tyree Nicholas? This is not going to bring him back. And from what I heard, I, I'm not even going to say from what I heard because I don't know the full story. I don't know if this man resisted arrest, but that's what I heard. You know, what I'm saying? I just said I'm not going to say what I heard. But anyways, I, I, from what I heard, because I'm not deep into the, the story like that. But y'all can definitely educate me in the comment section below because I will be reading the comments. But it's crazy to me how. Black people are literally so focused on race and so focused on why did the police, why did the police department charge these men instantly before the video was even released? Why did they suspend them and well, why did they fire them and put them in jail instantly? They talking about no matter, no matter who do it, race just always gonna follow black people. Bro, when I tell you this is all I'm saying on TikTok, bro, I will literally, I, uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna just go to TikTok right now. Look, first video. That, that's that's the first video these five black also but bro i tell you he say way more than that hold on wait, let me let me go to the other video hold on let me let me go to the other video for y'all because y'all think i'm y'all i don't want y'all think i'm just saying stuff just to say stuff bro literally this has been all over my tiktok page let me see if i can find another one here we go i don't know if y'all be keeping up with this tyree nichols case but basically he's the man that got the life beat out of him by the memphis police so i'm at the gym and i see they got the press release on tv so i watch it after watching that press release, I'm convinced this gonna be the most evil case we've seen since Emmett Till. Now, <laughs> what I tell you, bro? <laughs> Look, this case is like, bro. They saying this is worse than any case you ever seen, any police brutality you ever seen. Now I go to the comments and everything like that, bro. Bro, when I tell you the comments is just talking about how these police officers were suspended so fast after they just beat the living life out of a man. And they focused on why was the police charged so fast? Let it would have been a white man. That man would have been suspended on this and this. Why would y'all want these men suspended on pay leave when they just said this this was the worst case you ever witnessed? Man, you people need to, man, y'all don't know what y'all want, bro. Y'all don't know what y'all want. I, I thought this, this is what we want. Hold them accountable. Uh, uh, hold them accountable for their actions. I mean, I'm actually glad they got suspended like that. And not suspended on paid and this and that, but y'all so focused on racing, y'all so focused on that. But this man just lost his life. His family said that man was even he. You can't even recognize that man. That's how bad they beat him. I can't wait till the video drop because I'm ready to see how this video look, and I'm pretty sure I can't post it on this channel. But uh, y'all can always come back to this video. And let me know how you know what y'all think about the video, or I'm gonna just make a poll and y'all let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Uh, but yeah, man, it's going on 5:42, so I'm finna go ahead and get off this video because I definitely got somewhere to be. But I love y'all, man, and I thank y'all for all that y'all have done for me, bro. 80, well, I think I'm 86 something thousand subscribers, y'all. 86.45. I've been growing so fast, bro. I lost count. Okay, I lost count, and I appreciate every last one of y'all for real, for real, man. We on the road to 100k. Y'all let me know what y'all know about. Uh, well, y'all let me know what y'all think about this Tyree Nicholas uh, situation. I'm sorry I've been gone for seven days, y'all. Been going through a lot mentally, bro. So y'all just bear with me. You feel me? But I had to take a little break off. I want to get y'all the best content possible. I don't want to just rush the content and just throw things out there just because. Like I actually want to get y'all quality content. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this Tyree Nicholas case, uh, case, bro. I'm definitely. I definitely just want to see this video. I just want to see what they're talking about. It was it really that like was it bad like how they say it was bad because they, they I mean they preparing for riots. They said they know that people was going to protest. They know that people's going to burn down the city. Even though the police chief said please don't burn down the city, but we know after y'all watch this video, it's gonna be a lot of protests. They know all of this. That's why they preparing now. That's why they preparing now. I just showed you the video. They 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 preparing now. Bro, ain't no joke, man. Ain't no joke, man. We already, we, we what? 
20, 27 days in 2023, and this has already happened, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.